Alright guys, we got Platinum earlier today on stream, well, being today for me. I don't know when this video will go up, probably tomorrow the 17th. But we got Platinum, as you can see up here, and as well as if we go to Duel, Platinum Tier 5, we got it. I don't know if I'll go to Diamond, probably not, not super into it. But anyway, I want to get into the deck profile, that's what you guys click, clicked on this video for, but also, leave a like and subscribe be greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to see Masterdoll content, the streams get turned into VODs afterwards, or you could just come to the stream. I don't really like recording Masterdoll, but I stream it because you guys like it. So anyway, let's get into the deck profile. I used these three primarily. I might do these two, but I'm not super confident in them. But Branded DM is what did the most amount of work. But anyway, 2DM... You don't need three, you just, just don't. Three Souls, because Souls is an amazing card. Souls and a way to Branded Fusion can set up your Dragonite play, which typically you'll do like turn two. Because in most of your hands, because I'm playing Eternal Soul and Circle both at one, you're not really going to have the triangle set up to go for Mirror Jade. Or go for Dragonite, not Mirror Jade. You'll go for Mirror Jade most of the time. Three Souls, best card in the deck. One Tragedy, because Tragedy, after you discard off Lebellion, will give you a, an Aluber for follow-up. Also, you can banish him from Grave and recycle your Branded Fusion. So he gets you two different ways to Branded Fusion there. Pretty nice. One Max C, because I only have the one. If I had more, I'd probably play it at two. I probably wouldn't play it at three. I'm on two Ash. I have three, but I found multiple to be a little bit bricky. And because we're playing so many draw cards... If I need it, I can see it relatively easy. Uh, two Fallen to Albaz, go for your Branded plays. You kind of have to play two. E even if you do the Lebellion play to go to Mirror Jade first and shuffle it and Lebellion back. Mirror Jade, when you do Dragonite. I still feel like you need two. Especially if your Lebellion or your Albions get Imprimer Veilard. Which is still very common in Master Duel. And let's be honest, Master Duel players don't know what the fuck they're hitting. As soon as they get the first chance to press the button, they're going to do it. Or you get higher up on ladder, they don't know somewhat what they're doing, and they're going to stop your Lebellion and Albion plays. Three Alubras are primary normal summon. I kind of skipped over Rod. Rod, I never really used that much. Because one, he's at one, and two, he doesn't do anything on his own. Rod kind of sucks in that regards. Three Aluber. Aluber is the power play of the deck. And you can argue, well, you're doing more branded stuff. That is true. But, honestly, who really cares as long as you're winning and having fun? Let's be real here. And if we count up the amount of Dark Magician, do you branded cards? I think I'm playing a similar amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 uh, DM cards. 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I'm playing one more branded card than I am DM. Like, who cares? It doesn't matter. But one nib. Nib came in clutch. If I had two, I would definitely play it. The game I won to get in the plat is because I was playing against a Sword Soul player who fucked up. And didn't make Baron as their fifth summon, so I was able to Nibiru him, and he just scooped. So it was very satisfying to do it, and I was very happy when it happened on stream. I'll put a link to that stream in the description, or at the end screen, if I remember while I'm editing this video. But three upstart, if we had three upstart in the TCG, I'd definitely play it at three. You'd have to, because Soul Servant is good. There's so many times where you use upstart and Soul Servant together to stack souls, extend your power plays. So good. Three Branded Fusion, obvious, nothing really to talk about here. Two Chicken Game, kind of like your fifth copy upstart, but if you have this, Souls and Soul Servant, you're essentially getting a draw four. Because Souls will send DM, Special Summon itself, chicken get, activate Chicken Game, pay a thousand, draw one. Souls can send Chicken Game and Soul Servant for two more draws. I mean, banish Soul Servant for a draw one. Like, come on, Chicken Game... Chicken game or upstart need to come off the ban list. One to two. It, I'd be fine with Fiverr. Salvation. I really don't like this card. Um, but it helps you set up your triangle. 
And you can send it for a draw of souls, which is nice. One circle. And Eternal Soul already talked about that. I might play him at two, moving on. But I haven't decided yet. Super Poly, in a lot of matches, was honestly kind of dead. Especially against Sword Soul. Like, Super Poly can't hit Sword Soul most of the time. So, it's like mid, in my opinion. You can definitely play it for those branded matchups, which are really prevalent as you get higher up in the ladder. You can play it as a two of, it's fine. But, if you don't want to spend the ultras on it, don't worry about it. Three ups, three soul servant, nothing really to talk about there. Best spell card in Dark Magician deck. Two droplet, this was a last minute change in like gold four or five. I was playing like DMG and like something else. I don't remember what the other card I was playing. It was Apprentice. I cut DMG and Apprentice for two droplet. And these definitely made a difference. I will say that. I love droplet. I'm playing it in the main in TCG right now. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm signing it now. TCG deck profile soon. Um, three branded opening to help extend into your louvers. Three Imperm. Pretty generic. I'm on what? Three, four, five, six, seven hand traps. This could go to eight if I want to go back to three Ash or two Maxi. I don't know. I want to turn on nothing to talk about. Super Poly targets being Starving Venom and Draco Sapelia, the most generic ones. Dragonite, obviously, because it's branded Dark Magician, you kind of have to go into it. But Dark Magicians never really made this a whole lot. I think I made it once. Between the last two streams. Albion never really went into it for its summon. I did a couple times. But it's really just sent off Mirror JD. You bring a fusion and a banish. And then Masquerade. Which does double as a super poly target. Especially against blue eyes. If you know what Alibur. Search brain of fusion and you have this in your hand. Just discard it and get in the Masquerade. Like come on. Who doesn't want to do that? Obviously you have to use one material from your field. But it's okay. Or... It's just a good super poly target against some um, Despia players. So, not bad. Mirror Jade and Lebellion, nothing to really talk about. Lebellion's your big playmaker because you sent Tragedy and Albaz. I'm going to do another combo video of Souls and Branded Fusion that I find to be kind of better than the Albion one. Or modern TCG of what I'm going to be playing because I'm not playing Mana anymore. But I'll get into that in the deck profile. It might be a longer video. I don't know. It just depends. But not really talk about here. Link Spider, I never really made. He's kind of just here because I had the like 15th slot. I guess it could have been Verte to extend into Mirror Jade off like Rod and Souls, I guess. But like never really came up a super large amount. Um I'm Duck. I'm Duck came up a good amount, especially when it came to recycling DM to get circle banishes going se going second. And just for his destruction effect, I made I'm Duck and Artemis. Or actually, I barely made Artemis because I'm not utilizing Rod. So I guess if you wanted to in this build where you're not utilizing Rod and you're not in an Invoke deck, you could probably cut Artemis and Link Spider for whatever you want. Completely could. But Dark Selene and Access Code, holy shit, these things put in work. I love them. My initial thought process on Branded DM... Is that when the fuck are we linking? And as long as they have a dark in their grave. If you normal summon a Luber, It doesn't lock you out of your extra deck. So if you can get a Luber in any other normal summon. Or any other monster on field. You can go into dark and extend the Selene and Axis code. And push for game. Very strong. Loza was right on these three. He was. Extremely right. Um. Future changes I might make to this list if I keep playing to go past Platinum 5, which I don't know if I will or not. Um, will probably be... Honestly, you could honestly probably argue cutting Rod for just another hand trap. If you wanted to. Or maybe cut like an upstart down to 2 and play a second Mexi. That's also an option. Or a third Ash or a second Nibiru. Um, hand traps would probably be what I'd change. But that, I play more hand traps, generic hand traps, Ash, Imperm, Veiler. But other than that, I can't really complain about how this deck performed. I cannot at all. But anyway, let me know what your current rank is on Master Duel. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. 
Let me know what your guys' opinion is on the list. Leave a like and subscribe, and peace.